Hello, welcome to a new episode. In this episode, we're going to talk about uh, managing your trade via Trade Manager Expert. So stay tuned. Let's first talk about the break even. Uh, you can even add a automated break even by hitting on the plus, or you can just break even the trade. Here we are in a losing trade. If I hit break even, maybe I would get an invalid stop loss uh, or stops in your request because you can only break even a winning trade. So let's plan the break even by hitting on the plus. You have by default the 500 points that you have defined in your inputs. You can put small or smaller values. It depends on your trend on your plan so let's say if um here so 35 points let's put my cell into break even so that's the break even it's simple nothing to talk about if you notice here just for the show pip whenever you are at zero and in profit you can have different colors than when you are in plus uh, let's talk about the partials the partials all three partials have the same principle but I'm going to talk about partial one first. So by adding a partial automatically, it has, uh, it will have for partial one added at 50% from your price and take profit. When adding a partial two, basically it's at 75%. And when adding a partial three, it's at 90%. Those partial can be used as partial take profit and partial stop loss. So here I have a, simply a partial take profit. Uh, I'm gonna remove the uh, uh, the TP1 and uh, TP uh, TP3, just keeping TP1 for the sake of the example. And I'm gonna tell the panel whenever I'm at this price, let us remove 50% of the trade. So here you have all the calculation done, meaning when 50% of the trade here you're gonna have 49.5 as profit. Uh, we are at 0.99 um, uh, volume, so basically 0.45 will be closed when you're here. As I said, also you can use this as a partial stop loss, simply by dragging it and putting it between the stop loss and the uh, price line. Whenever your trade is losing, and it will happen, uh, once you hit this uh, level of partial stop loss, you're gonna uh, close 50% of your trade, you're gonna lose 24.53 USD, and the other 50% uh, of your trade will live its life even to, 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 to touch your stop loss or uh, go back in your favor to your take profit. All three uh, partials, so partial one, partial two, partial three, can work the same, so as a partial take profit or a partial stop loss. And uh, we can simply uh, do the partial close manually so for example here if i want to close 50 percent of my trade i'm at 0 0.99 lot i'm closing 50 percent so i'm at 0 0.49 and if you notice everything else is uh, working as usual nothing nothing has changed you can usually also let's say if you want to do partials with more than 50 percent you can just uh, change the value and here the button change the value and you can see a partial of 80 percent uh, let me move this take profit in here as example and let us take a second trade a second trade so this will help us to see how the uh, trade manager will act and we're gonna also benefit from it to discuss basically the focus point okay let us take another trade so we can talk about the focus and talk about how the AA is handling the different trades uh, together so let's plan the trade first when you go and try to plan a trade as you can see all the focus is on the planning your trade so all what is all the other trades will disappear from your chart all their break evens and so so let me take a another cell i'm gonna just wait a little bit so i have the cell on a different price okay so And basically here what you can see in the pip counter you have already two cells and you have uh, the total on the top and here if i uh, you can see you have the two different uh, trades uh, if i go for uh, the details in the trade you can see uh, the ticket number is what we're uh, showing basically here 
just for uh, the record. Uh, what happens now if I want to change my stop loss? Frankly speaking here, I don't know that which take profit, which, was for, which for sell and same for the stop loss and it's a little bit fuzzy. Uh, I have some break even and the partial take profit on this one. I can see it when I select it, but I'm not sure which trade is. That's why we are using the focus mode. When you hit focus mode, you're gonna see one trade at a time. So this one or this one. Here, basically I'm changing the trade by using the mouse. You can simply use the shortcut on your keyboard. So uh, greater or smaller, and this will help you to automatically jump between trades. Here I have two trades. Let me just add a buy stop, for example, or a sell stop just right here sell stop so here i have three trades that are running however for the pip counter it will only show you the pips of running trades not for uh, stop loss and uh, stop or uh, limit orders whenever you are changing trades in addition that you can see on the uh, charts the element related only to this trade you can see some information here what is the straight for what was the risk to reward what is the risk that is took what is the current profit and so on and you can uh, for uh, the stop loss and take profit really to change those automatically this will help you also see the different risks that you are taking and let's say i'm changing also the take profit so we have all this information focused on one trade and now if i jump to another trade this is also a sell. I don't have a break even, I don't have take profit. Let me adjust a take profit too, for example. And I'll put 70% at this uh, level. Uh, if I get back to the other trade, I'm just gonna see the old trade information, the new trade information. And if I gonna jump to my sell stop that I have took lately, it doesn't have any information. One thing you need to know also about this tool that for your orders, even if they are not yet executed, you can plan all your trade on them. So let's say I know what I need to do, but I will not basically be on my PC for the next two hours. So I'm gonna put a sell stop. Whenever my price is here, I'm gonna sell. My, my stop loss is above, my take profit is below, and I need now to plan my trade. I'm gonna take a break even whenever I am below this low. I'm also going to take a partial profit, take profit when I am below this low and I'm going to take, let's say, 8% of my trade and let me just differentiate a little bit so we can see the labels and I'm going to take a partial take profit too, just here and this one I'm going to take, let's say, 50% of my trade. This means um, I am at initially at 0 0.48. Whenever I hit this partial take profit, I'm going to take 80% of 0 0.48. And when I hit this partial take profit, I'm going to take 50% of what is the rest that is, uh, let's say, of the trade that is remaining on uh, active. And when I have a break even, basically, simply the price touching break even, I have a break even. And I can leave it like this and just go do whatever I want to do and my trade will be executed as I planned. Uh, the final thing that I need to explain about this tool and I think we have done uh, a little bit uh, all uh, the features that are inside is I can simply delete an order or, or close a trade. So for this one, I don't need anymore to trade this sell stop. So I just can hit on delete and i can see the other trades that are in place so uh, the uh, the the cells that were in place i can simply close automatically from the tool and uh, basically that's it for what i want to explain to you about this tool what you need to know is that tool will recognize when putting it into a short all the trades that are on the symbol so for example here all my trades were in gpusd if i have trades active on euro usd they will not appear in this uh, tool basically each if you want to really to handle the euro usd you can run simply let's do it we're gonna just take a euro usd
uh, let me keep that black for the sake of let me put it with manager I can use the same plate manager on multi charts there is no uh, limitation on using it on a uh, charge on the same computer so uh, if I click here and take a random trade for example a sell I can see it really here I can see the trade inside the euro SD however you can see in the GPP USD I don't see that trade. however if I take a manual trade in GPP USD all right let me accept the terms okay sell automatically i can see it in this tool and i can then set the take profit and uh, uh, stop loss for this trade and basically that's that's it hope i have bring enough information about the tool and how it works and uh, if you have any question any suggestions don't hesitate to reach our support we are more than happy to help you Stay tuned and don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel, like this video and activate the bell button. Thank you.